Yo, what up guys, it's Zero here, and today I'm here to tell you guys that I'm going to be in an Absolver tournament on October 14th. I will leave a link down in the description for the Twitch. Yeah, hopefully you guys can make it. Uh, it's on October 14th, which is this Saturday. There is a $50 prize for the first place winner, and I think it's $25 and then $10 for second and third. I'm not positive on the rewards, but I believe that's what it is. So I don't know, today's video is gonna be a little different. It's just going to be me, you know, kind of analyzing what people are probably gonna end up doing and stuff like that. Hopefully you enjoy the fighting in the background though. But the first thing to talk about is that, do I think I'm gonna win? The realistic answer for that is no. Um, I don't think that I'll win, but obviously I hope I do, and I'm gonna try my hardest to win. Uh, but the biggest reason why I think I'll lose is because I'm not going to be playing the best styles in the game. I'm playing stagger style, and I plan to stick to stagger style for the tournament. And sadly, stagger style gets completely outmatched against Forsaken. Um, at the end of the day, Forsaken has a lot of variables to it, and they have a lot of options. Definitely based on how their combat deck works. Um, if you're a good player, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, you can parry. You can play really offensive with your combat deck and then do a reactionary parry or you can kind of just bait so you can get a successful parry and those are just multiple punishes right there or you can play defensive and then just get punishes off and or parries off and then punish off of them and then call it a day and it blows that you can do that but if you're trying to be the best at this game and you want to utilize everything that you can that would be the style to go to there is cult um I don't know, Colt, Colt's weird. I don't know, for me, I don't really have a huge issue against Colt, but I know there's people who are really good and they've had problems against Colt. So I'm just, I don't know, I'm just trying to stay, what's the word, cautious of people who play Colt, just based on the fact that I have not played somebody who's just outstanding as Colt. You know what I mean? I've beaten majority of the Colt players I've played against. You know, I've lost here and there just based off of just losing, just not figuring out how their combat deck was working. Um, but in general, in terms of like them using the ability cult, I've never had a problem against, or the absorb skill, never had a problem against it. So I don't know. I'll just have to see in a tournament because we're playing people who've been playing since like closed beta once again, or open beta, alpha, etc. So we're just going to have to see the way they play and just, you know, try to figure out the tendencies and then just beat out the tendencies for windfall. I I don't know, man. Windfall is one of those things that if you're good at analyzing and reactionary timing and just in general, just good at dodging, you'll probably be a good windfall player. Um, but in terms of tournament play, I would just probably wouldn't use that. Definitely if I was really trying to win, I probably wouldn't use that. So I'm personally thinking there'll be like one or two guys using it, just like stagger stuff. Like there'll be like one other guy using it. But I think the most used style will definitely be cold and Forsaken, for sure, 100%. Um, actually, I, I actually doubt there will be a lot of people playing Stagger style as well. I have not seen a lot of Stagger players, at least streamer-wise and or YouTuber-wise. I have not seen a lot of people play Stagger, except for me. So, I see people do it and like, hey, yeah, Stagger style is in the game. This is how you get it. Other than that, people don't stick to Stagger style. They really don't. Um, I don't know. <laughs> in terms of winning, I don't, I don't, I don't know. In stagger style, I don't think I'll win, but I want to see if I can prove myself wrong and just go for it anyways. Um, I'm pretty confident in my own combat deck. You know, I know it very well. I know a lot of stagger weaknesses and, you know, pluses. So hopefully I can utilize that to win. Um, but overall, I like I said, Forsaken is going to have me match and we'll see how that goes. Um, but in general, you know, I'm excited to do it. Um, it's all about having fun at the end of the day. Oh, one thing I forgot to bring up though, I have to make a brand new character. A brand new character for this tournament. Um, because my current character doesn't have the stats that would be considered, like, viable for the tournament. Like, my strength isn't maxed out. I think my dexterity is that- no, my dexterity is maxed out. My vitality is nowhere near maxed out, and that's really bad. Um, endurance is maxed out and I think my will is at like 16 and I think the hard cap slash soft cap for that was like way lower than 16 so yeah I need to go make a new character I need to finish him out in terms of like getting him to 60 and getting my stats correct um, 
but in terms of like making videos I'll probably mainly use the main character that I have and just use the other character in case I want to do like tournaments or just mess around with a different character uh, but yeah once a guys uh, what's a guy do I even speak English what the hell anyways yeah the next couple of videos um, it'll be the normal live commentary thing we may have videos in there that are like tournament practice videos where I'm not really talking or anything I may throw music chill music in the background and just you know practice um, but yeah other than that Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch. I'm really trying to grow those two things, so if you wouldn't mind doing that, that'd be very great. Um, but yeah, stay frosty, and there's more to come. Woo!